So as you can see from what he said, uh, he discovered his idea in his cell bedroom. Um, I, I wonder what he was doing at that point in time. But then um, he said he wrote out the mathematics. At the end of the day, this theory is all about some mathematical principles, which I don't think any of you be able to understand. I don't understand as well. But some guy will be able to come around and try and put it in some short and concise way. And this is what it says that at a superconducting state, you have the electrons, like the latter structure, normally, like, like the structure I drew before, you have uh, the latter structure vibrating and all that stuff. So as electrons are passing through, they are colliding and bouncing back. But at a superconducting state, like, uh, the vibration of the, uh, of the latter structure is as minimal as possible. So what you have at that point in time is that electrons pass through. So when the first electron has this one, let's say this electron goes somewhere around here, you have, um, how do I call it? You have a bend, a distortion at that point. So what happens is that due to that distortion, some sound stuff known as phonons is emitted. And as you all know, like electrons are normally repelling in nature because of the negative charge. Right? We are all aware of that, right? Electrons are repelling. So, like, because of this distortion and the emission of the phonon sound is known as the phonon electron coupling. So, the phonons kind of mediate the coupling of the two electrons so that the second electron follows through. Are we on the same page? Yeah. So, the second electron follows through. And the reason why this is explained is that let's try and see from a uh, condensed uh, aspect of things. Like there is a specific amount of or a specific frequency or a specific uh, energy of the sound that is emitted for this to occur. So at any temperature above this, this would actually take place. That's to occur at very low temperatures, extremely low temperatures. So uh, these two electrons that move together is known as Cooper pairs uh, because it was discovered by this group of guys. And yeah, that's pretty much what happens, or the long and short of the BCS theory. And uh, when the BCS theory was discovered, it also projected some other aspects of superconductivity that were not discovered at that point in time, like things like uh, Mismar effect, which means expulsion of magnetic fields and other stuff. Um, Yeah, so like I said before, these are the properties, or the two main properties, they're not all the properties, but two main properties of superconductors that make them really cool. Uh, the first one is the Messner effect. Uh, what it basically means is the expulsion of an external magnetic field. Uh, let's say you have a body right now, and almost everybody has one field passing through it or the other. But then at the superconducting state, it states that if you have a body, the magnetic field passes over. 